Oh, oh dear. Well, welcome to uh, logically. Wait, I've got it wrong. <laughs> welcome to logical fallacy. Yes. Should we make this episode one? Yeah, episode one of logical fallacy. Yes. And I think we should start with your apology from last week for the water debacle. <laughs> okay. Because so, we found that short. Okay. After. Right. 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 <laughs> right. Let's let's make a point here. I apologise. Literally only for the fact that you don't have the cold water tank in the loft, which you yourself didn't know until your missus told you. At which point, I'm still right, you shouldn't be drinking bathroom tap water if you have a cold water tank in the loft, which you don't. So I guess you're fine. Apology accepted. Well, it wasn't heartfelt if that helped. <laughs> <laughs> it was mainly a middle finger thinly veiled <laughs> in an apology, if I'm honest. Good. I couldn't find the page that, you know, I found that page that was making me crack up about whether it was dangerous or not. I couldn't find that same page. I found the same website, but then. Did you just look through your history on your browser? Yeah, but it didn't come up for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, only porn. Not on this PC. There's a dog over there. <laughs> um, I've started at Abzu. Is that the diving one? Yes. Yeah. Very peaceful. Is it? Yeah. It's like Journey. Incredibly peaceful. Yeah. Journey's an excellent game. There's another nice underwater game that I think you got. I haven't played yet. Uh, Soma. Yes, that's not a nice underwater game. It is. It's pretty good. Yeah, but it's not nice, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I know all about it, it's not a secret. <laughs> it's a horror game, I understand that. It's... I can't think of any other games like Doom. I still want Doom Eternal. We spoke about that last week, so yeah. let's cut this out so it's not Doom three weeks in a row. <laughs> Did I fucking tell you what somebody sent to me on Messenger about Pokemon Go? On we're just Facebook a... Messenger? Yeah. Right. We're just about to be best friends on it. Oh, yeah, it's just like, I want to coordinate to be best friends. No, no, even, yeah, but he sent me a message now because we need to coordinate. You Same person. Shout out whenever it's best for you to go besties. I'll stick an egg on and open, <laughs> right? My detailed files suggest a Sunday morning works best for you, but I'm very time flexible and I have loads of eggs, so just give me a shout. Does that mean he kind of tracks when you play? He tracks when most people play, and he's one of the reasons I stopped talking to anything because I thought, this is fucking <laughs> weird for a year. Yeah, so I said, let's. That's one of the reasons I stopped playing, yeah. just because he was so creepy, and at one point <laughs> he wanted to fill out a spreadsheet oh, so yeah. that he knew when you were available to raid. Can you imagine just fill out a spreadsheet for a mobile game? Like you. <laughs> yeah, but not on other people's I don't, I don't mean, yeah. like, that's, that's existence. Stalking. It's just fucking weird. Yeah. Um, Brexit. Yep. Did you have any fireworks down your way when 11 o'clock came on Friday? No. I, I don't know. know. I was asleep. Are we? Uh? Yeah, fuck that. I don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we've left. Yep. Everything's instantly burst into flames and people are dying and. Yeah. Um, all, all the brown people have been kicked out. Yeah, that's exactly what everyone thought. Well, we voted that. differently on the referendum. Yeah, but it is irrelevant, really. We just voted oppositely, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but um, both of us still are of the same ilk, which is just get it done. It's fine. Yeah, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. It's boring now. <laughs> Utterly boring. And don't destroy the NHS, Boris. No. Oh, bitch. Well, you're, um, you're not supposed to say Brexit anymore. What are you supposed to say? Nothing. Oh, just don't say that word. Independence. Like, can we just move on from that word? Yeah, oh, yeah, we've got an Independence Day now, so that's pretty cool. Isn't it? Oh, do you reckon? Will we get a national holiday? Oh, well, be we sweet. better do, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll get an Independence Day film. Yes. Oh, that'd be so good. Uh, did, did you uh, did you watch Ferngully like I told you to? No, but I can remember it pretty much. Okay. So uh, we can discuss it. So Why would, I wouldn't... When did you tell me... To, just to clarify, when did you tell me to watch it? That's Sunday night or something. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to drop what I'm doing. Wait, last it Sunday? It wasn't mean, last Sunday. I didn't mean immediately. No, it was like Thursday or something, or okay, Friday. Fine. I mean, it wasn't. It was Tuesday at best. Was it? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, was I late today? Uh, no, you didn't. Well, you were late and early because you didn't tell me you were coming. You said... No, I told... We said on here I'd be here for like 11.15, 11 11.30. 11 uh, so I was. Yeah, well, no, I'm not going to watch it just because you say so because I don't really like the film. Really? I'll talk to you about it. God damn. That... Tim Curry uh, Texas is obviously great, great. but obviously. at the end where it comes out in skeleton mode it yeah. looks amazing it does really look good it must have spent so much it's a budget. shame that it was a Dreamworks film was, was it? it Dreamworks? no it wasn't it wasn't even Dreamworks right no this is why I don't like Phone Gully because it has an <laughs> ulterior motive and you know it uh, the, it was paid for by bleeding heart hippies so 
like, the Rainforest Alliance. Yeah, it says to stop killing all the trees while it's animated on fucking paper. Like, yeah. who gives a I shit? I very much am in favour of saving the trees on the planet. Yeah. Because why wouldn't I be? I live here, regrettably. Yeah. I just didn't like the... I really didn't like the animation style of the, the, the fairies. There wasn't much of an animation style, to be fair. Mm. Like, they spunked all the budget right at the end. Was that right at the end, do you reckon? Yeah, the big skeleton hexus thing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was, it's so good. Uh, but, uh, it was Robin Williams, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. Batty Coda. Yeah, Batty that Coda. performance has not aged well, I don't think. No. Because I, I think it was the same year as Aladdin. Yeah. <gasps> Cheech Marin was in it? Uh, yes. And Chong? Yeah, they were the, the biker bugs. Oh, Cheech, oh, what a surprise. Oh, Cheech no, no, they were, they were the cassowaries. Stump and Root. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen those birds in real life? Yeah, they're terrifying. Fucking horrendous, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, they've got claws the size of Bournemouth. So, Tone Lock. I don't know who that is. Oh, I know who played Go On. He's that guy with the raspy voice. He's that. Yeah, yeah my name is Tone Lock. I'm going to roll this little fairy. Yeah. And Samantha Mathis was. Uh, Krista. Krista. But what the fuck have you done otherwise? Yeah. What have you done? You know, I take you... it back, I now realise who you are. Oh, it's cool. Daisy from the Mario film. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, she's gone from strength to strength, hasn't she? <laughs> and now, at the 77th Academy Awards, <laughs> Samantha Mathis. There was something else in the film as well that I, I had to go and look online for because the various thing is like, oh, help it grow. First of all, I was like, oh, I've got something you can help grow. So, okay, so let's see what Wall 34 exists of this. And it's all just her and Tinkerbell. Okay. There's so much of it. It's like, what the fuck? She's not even... Um, arguably that attractive. So, you know. She's not in Tinkerbell's league. No. <laughs> I think Tinkerbell was normally dominating her. Yeah. Which makes sense because she's a dickhead. She's a little bitch. She makes terrible choices. <laughs> she's basically Ariel, isn't she? Uh, she is. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Oh, I to live with the human. I found some fuss right here. I got no legs. Yeah, where's all the other fairies in Peter Pan? Is she an outcast? Yes. Was such a slow. Wait, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's that gif where she's stuck in the th- yeah. she's stuck in the keyhole. <laughs> I mean, the 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 best Peter Pan IP that's ever existed is Hook <laughs> yes. with Robin Williams. Absolutely. And uh, Rufio. <laughs> and uh, what's his name? He's Rain Man. Yeah, he is. Stain. I'm not helping you. Do you remember it? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's not much. D H. That's really not helping. I've gone blank. I can't remember his name. D.H. I don't want to say it, Max. I'm not looking like a dumbass. No, say it, say it. Dustin? It is Dustin Hoffman. Yes. <laughs> You're right, yeah. <laughs> Rufio. Yeah. I always get him and... Uh, I always get him and... Uh, the other guy. <laughs> I've got even know. less to go on there. <laughs> he was Cooper in the Mario film. That guy. I, I saw that once and it was recorded from TV on a oh shitty God, video. Like, it's such a good film. I don't know what people's problem with it. <laughs> I genuinely don't. It's like it's a good romp. I mean, treat it as treat it as a Chinese knockoff of Mario. <laughs> right? Cause it clearly doesn't make any sense. Or just treat it as a parallel version. How many times have they done that? DC and Marvel get away with it every bloody issue. Yeah. And that's why I don't read it. But what one film does it it's like ah it's not Mario <laughs> yeah do you think Doom the film was Doom I like no. that film yeah but it's it's a parallel thing yeah. all of Doom is not even the new Doom reboot is part of Doom it's a soft reboot isn't it yeah it's a different Doom it's, it's dumb it's let it lie I can't wait till we have an episode where we don't talk about Doom yeah it's pretty good there might be a little gap between this one maybe and Doom Eternal oh yeah it's, it's just the <laughs> welcome to the Doom podcast <laughs> where we talk about Doom um uh, and the last thing I had on the list is Jen and Brad. What about them? Getting back together. Oh, are they? Sneaky beaky. Ah. They've been seen there uh, schmoozing and hovering around each other at Hollywood events. So who's out then? So was she with Vince Vaughn for a while? Mm, I don't know. Was, I Maybe. think she was at some point. He was with uh, my one of my least favourite actresses of all time, Angelina Jolie. Oh, yeah. She only cast in Team Ready because she had big tits. Yep. <laughs> And I can't think of anything else that she's done that's given me particular joy, if I'm honest. Uh, salt? I haven't seen it. No, nor have I. I don't really Fuck care. Should be in. Wanted. It's not very good. It's not as good as a comic, though. Uh, sure. The fucking witch. Yeah, Maleficent. Yeah. Didn't care for it. Didn't even watch it, to be honest. No, I watched like five minutes and went, ugh. <laughs> 
I just click yeah, email but, but Jen and Brad are getting together apparently they've forgiven all ills yeah. and they know what mistakes they made that made the relationship <laughs> fail and they're rekindling and I like Jen and Brad together they good. always seem like a nice couple good as nice a couple as Johnny Depp and Amber Heard now she beat him yeah have you seen the phone calls come out where she just admits it what she, that she, she beat the crap talking out. to him yeah, talking about like why she decked him and everything well she's like no is she getting in trouble now for it hopefully well, she's saying things like, that's why I hit you. I didn't punch you. I hit you. Like, like yeah, but... You're hitting it. Yeah, but if she gets away with it, then it's just as bad as Cardi B, isn't it? Pe- people Who I loathe <laughs> entirely. Yeah, people are trying their best to not let her get away with it. Yeah, because Cardi B gets away with the fact that she's publicly on record, <laughs> admitted to drugging, drugging people and stealing. and stealing their stuff. <laughs> and nothing's happened. There's no there's no court case pending. Everyone just went, oh, pat on the back. Yeah. How well drawn. Nobody... F- <laughs> How's the Trump impeachment going? Have they given up yet? No, no, they're still going through with it. You sure? I think so. Oh, okay. They, but they, they can't... He won't, he won't be removed from office. He'll win another term. Yeah. If you're trying to get rid of him, it's a stupid way to do it. It's largely... Maybe that's been... Maybe the Wuhan flu is a distraction for that. Because <laughs> the <laughs> Ebola thing was a distraction for something. Because that came and disappeared like oh Ebola you, you didn't release a cure did you no you didn't, <laughs> well, stop, you didn't stem the spread it's, yeah they did no they didn't there wasn't, how there wasn't a nationwide how did they do Ebola, it how did they stop it Go on. Uh, by not spreading it anymore oh by good. Being I'm glad, I'm glad we had that information <laughs> so now we know how to avoid it in the future well done yeah yeah we do <laughs> the guy across the road just closed his blinds I saw him oh is that the weird one no oh yeah, but you closed your curtains on me earlier. You didn't even acknowledge my existence. You closed the <laughs> curtains. I thought, oh, he's yeah. having really fun today. And closing the curtains was acknowledging your existence. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't have closed the curtains if you weren't there. Yeah, that's true. Wait, that's not any better. <laughs> <laughs> better than just ignoring you. Mm. One of the bank holidays has moved this year. Yes, it's... Uh, I know, because I have to deal with holiday plans and stuff. It's, um, I don't know how many people who make calendars are all pissed off about that. Well, no, it keeps me in business. Well, no, because you're not going to make another run of 2020 calendars because of one... No, but they'll have known ahead of time, so why would it piss them off? Well, if they knew ahead of time, why would they put it on the calendars? But it is on the calendars. It ain't. I guarantee you it is. It ain't. Right. Uh, yes, it is. Online calendars it will be. Actual printed calendars it will be. Nah. If they put bank holidays, not all of them do. I'll show you mine downstairs. Well, you should... Oh. It's not hideous. It's still fairly smooth. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it because you shaved your balls. I just don't see why you felt the need to A, tell me or B, do it. It's funny. For some reason, I can't remember why I logged into Facebook, but it was on this day last year. And that's when I got Kingdom Hearts 3. I was like, oh, hmm. that was shit. I went to CX and traded it in and took that cash directly to buy a like a one kilo chocolate bunny for Easter. Fair enough. Yeah. I've got, uh, I've got my Easter eggs ready. Yeah. Yeah. Special no milk, whatever it is. Yeah, dough free. Yeah. What are they in the shape of? Eggs. Why? Boring. What are the shape of your eggs in? Santa. It's not an egg though. <laughs> I gave you that, that's not an egg. <laughs> that was a Christmas thing that I didn't... I... Right. Um, I have been Siege. I have been Jordan. Um, Good evening. Yeah, whenever you listen to this, I don't really care what time of day you listen to it. <laughs> Assuming we still have times of day in the future. Yeah, yeah I care you? you listen to it, but not. Yeah. Okay, bye. (laughs) This is part two of episode one. Do you want to try and say the name of it again? This is part two of Logical (laughs) Fallacy. You see, I'm not an idiot. (laughs) Can I tell you, by the way, I've now gotten to level four. I can get to to right towards the end of level four of Gungeon. Oh, nice. How many levels are there? Five. Uh, Six. Is the last one just free? No enemies, one boss. No. Oh. <laughs> they get progressively harder all the way. I could do level five for you in one run. Yeah, but I need to get there, don't I? I need to get better at yeah. it. No, it's just for some reason, I think maybe I get overconfident. Yeah. I just keep getting battered. How long did it take you to complete the game in one run? Um, I've got the screenshot of when I first did it, and it tells you how, you know, when you die, it tells you how many deaths you've had. Yeah. It, I've got it on there. It must be, it, it's over 100 easy. What, deaths? Yeah. It's really, it's I think mine's 30 minutes oh god now I'm, I was like 18 I was way ahead of that I've got so many deaths because I'm not very good at that kind of game 
I got neither one. <laughs> it's just really hard. Do you know what my main mistake has been? The reason I keep losing is because I had you in echoing in my head like a. I'd say like a Jedi, but it's more like a Sith Lord in this instance, <laughs> where you're like, don't waste your ammo, no, use yeah. your starter gun. Yeah. Like, no, I need to use one of the other guns I've acquired, because I'm just getting smashed by these hefty boys. Yeah, just use your starter weapon for the first two stages. Yeah. Then then at the second boss, I'd say switch to stuff you've collected, assuming you've, assuming you've collected anything good. And then go and smash it. Yeah. I saw a picture of, what's the, um, what's the electric gym leader from... Sino called. Is it Eliza? Faggot. She's got the like the red and blue. She's got the gay head pieces. What? No, I've seen a picture of her like hugging a giant Zeb Striker dick. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Why do I expect anything there? <laughs> you got anything on your list yet? Well, I didn't write this one, so <laughs> Fern Gully again. Yeah, I watched it again. Right. It's good. Okay, why'd you watch it twice? Because <laughs> it's good. No, but that's pointless. Uh, I've put SARS update. The, the doctor. More, more have died. Yep, including the doctor who... Which worries me. Because then it's clearly not people who have lowered... Who, who are already Psst. ill. It's just killing normal people. Well, the doctor who the government was pissed off at because he raised the alarm yeah he thing. died didn't he's he? died oh he had that that, th- that illness that's going oh, on yeah. it's really he convenient isn't it really, this yeah. is China's perfect chance for a massive cull which I'm sure they'll take advantage of yeah I yeah then there was scaremongering on the BBC saying oh there could be an epidemic here and it's like yeah but the, the death rate isn't like I want to know I want to know the people who died like what was wrong with them first yeah. when they died they're all 90 years old yeah, because if they're all 90, they're saying a wedge of lime is the perfect cure for this sort of problem at the minute. Don't pull that face. <laughs> That's a perfectly good joke. Because Corona is a booze and you're a boob. <laughs> I've got, uh, I'm very hot all the time. <laughs> I think I am, but my hands are always cold. Like whenever you pass me the controller, I'm like, oh, it's warm. It's like sitting on a warm You pass me the suit. controller, I'm like, is this... A fresh controller. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So I thought that if you are healthy, you're more likely to be murdered. <laughs> because you're less likely to die naturally. If you live longer, the longer you live, the more likely you are to I be murdered. I thought this was related to the coronavirus. Like, he's waiting behind a corner with a knife. Well, <laughs> we get to find out if it is China's government murdering people. The longer you're alive, if you don't die of that, you've got to die of something else at some point. So if you're not dying of any illness more likely to be an unnatural cause and also people are more likely to want to kill old people because they're fucking annoying I don't know whether that I don't know whether you could actually count that as like something profound or I found a reason no, or it's whether just, it's just simply I think it's just something you can't say is incorrect no it's just probably just mathematically more likely that you're <laughs> going to be you're going to die from murder yeah yeah because if you're yeah, if you're really unhealthy and you're going to die at 22 you're not likely to get murdered before that but if you're living another 60 years on top and whatever the murder rate is, it's being applied for longer. I've worked out that with the food and the amount of exercise and stuff that I do, I'm actually incredibly healthy. I are. My immune system is actually, I think, pretty good. Yeah. More likely to be murdered then. No, so I, th- I think you are correct. And wind, wind is another thing on my list. Yeah. Because it's, it's just windy. <laughs> it sure is. And I sent you a, a video this morning. <laughs> <in the wind. laughs> it's horrendous. I mean, it's been this windy in the last year. Mm. Because I remember going to Bremka Hills Park and a massive branch had just been torn off a tree. Yeah, that's true. That so wasn't wind, though. That was a kaiju. Oh, OK. That's right. That must have been a small one. It was a big kaiju. What did it do with its fingernail or something? It did it with his spunk. It just went... Blasted <laughs> across the landscape. <laughs> just fucked off a, a tree branch. I watched um, Underwater. Oh. It's good. I wanted to see it. Did you it's, see the Cineworld? Yeah. The Cineworld. It's real good. It's uh, it made me want to replay Soma and Dead Space. Ah, oh, so okay. that's kind of a glowing review. I can replay Dead Space when I drive on, however. Yes, I can. Oh no, have you got it on PS3 on disc? Yeah. Just come back. Why would I not? I really want to platinum it, but I've got to do the the asteroid thing with fifty percent shield remaining, which I deemed impossible back in the day. And I'm fairly to... certain I did it with less than fifty. You probably did. Loads of people seem to have it. It's not that hard to do. Apparently, I'll check. I'll check my Xbox trophies and see yeah. if it's on there because I think I did it. Yeah. So I don't think it's that difficult. No. I need to do that and then complete it on the hardest mode, which is probably where I'll fall down. But I would like to have it just so that it says, uh, time to platinum, 10 years. 
because one day I'd like to uh, I'd like to platinum Resi Five because that's the first trophy I got on PS4. On PS3. Get it on PS4. They don't carry over though the trophies. I don't think. No, but we can play together online. We could play together online. Because I've got it on PS4. That's nice. Yeah. It's another game to play. It is. You haven't played games together in ages. No, I haven't played. I haven't played a video game all week. Why? Why don't you? Why don't you gay? Bed? <laughs> Why are you gay? Yeah. Yeah. What would you do if you opened your sock drawer and they were all odd and you could never find a pair of socks again? I can do exactly what I'd do. What? Put the fucking socks on and yeah. carry on because that's all I do normally anyway. Excellent. <laughs> I don't believe that matching socks matters. I only, actually I didn't think it mattered until the other day when I had to take my shoes off to leave work because you have to they had to go through the x-ray machine ok do, do you not know I have to get wandered and x-rayed every time I leave work <laughs> ok that's pretty cool it's a secure it's not it's, it becomes irritating honestly the, the novelty of it wears off after <laughs> the second time what about the radiation yeah that never wears off <laughs> it gets in your cell um, no it's but I have to do that every time and only recently now I've had to take my shoes off because you work at the Umbrella Corporation. It is, yeah. Yeah, no, we'll absolutely play Resi 4. Five. Five. I'm Bagsy Chris, whatever his name is, Chris Evans, Redfield. Chris Redfield? <laughs> yeah. But no, that means <laughs> a minority and a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, I'll be Sheva. I think you're a shit. Cool. Neither, they're both as strong as each other. It's, you just want to be the burly man. Oh, this is what I meant to do, right? So... I know we don't typically do reviews, not because we're not great at them, but because it's just not really what we do anyway. Yeah. Um, but, so you recommended Claymore to me. Yes. Which, um, 40 chapters in on yeah. the manga, is quickly becoming one of my most favourite things I've ever read. It's, so it's ridiculous. <gasps> chapter 40, so you're with the uh, Ophelia stuff. Wait, 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 I'll tell you which chapter I'm on specifically. Yeah. But I was trying to explain to the, to, to the missus exactly how much of that has just been you know how normal things like normal mangas or normal comics they rise and they fall they rise and they fall and you get bits where it's just really lame this has just been consistently rising <laughs> so this this is what I was saying about Demon Slayer oh, it's yeah. that kind of tempo are you with Ophelia the one with the the ponytail the braid thing oh yeah yeah no she's she's no longer alive okay <laughs> wait what a bitch wait Ophelia Ophelia, she might be alive. I I'm chapter forty-one. I don't know who Ophelia is. Ophelia is the one who. Um, has anything snake-related happened? Yes. Yeah. She um, she awakened. Yeah. So you saw. The, yeah, she's dead. So you meet her. She starts being a prick. Uh, then an awakened one shows up and twists her head round. Yeah. And she doesn't give a shit. She doesn't care. And then you find. Why awakened. would you have to chop off her head? She's. I thought Claymore's if like if he did that they would probably die anyway. yeah they would so she'd already no she had a, a neck twisted round by the awakened one rather than removed oh. so I don't know she survived somehow maybe she's got an especially elastic yeah that thing yeah she yeah she's that's gone. cool because I was just sat there and I was like this just because so many people have died and it was so upsetting <laughs> and then it just it just kept getting more and more upsetting so many people I had Teresa who else uh, all the other people. Oh, all those guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'd like to know who you are and what you're about. No, nope, you're yeah. dead. That's fine. But Elena though came back to help and gave her a gave, 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 her a, gave, gave Claire, Claire a hand. Gave her a hand, indeed. <laughs> uh, Taught her the quick sword. Ah, oh, the quick sword's so good. Gave her a hand. Yeah, Ophelia got um, absolutely bitch slapped. Diced. Yeah. Like that wasn't even funny in the end. She was so cocky. It's, <laughs> it's the bit. I audibly went. I audibly went. Oh no! <laughs> when I, when it showed that she went, what's this feeling? Oh yeah. I'm hungry for guts. Yeah. And it's like, oh. and that made me instantly think of Berserk, and it is basically the PG Berserk. Yeah. Also guts. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it made me think of Berserk. <laughs> guts. But yeah, Claymore is great. It's cracking, and I'm slightly worried that I'm I'm going to get to the end and be really upset now. No, I think it holds up all the way through. Perfect. I really want to see the anime after I've seen it because I yeah. think it's a, it's one of those things that you could see would translate really well. Yeah, I wonder. I'm going to see who made the anime because I've got a feeling it's Madhouse. I think it was Madhouse. If that's so, are they good? Yeah, they did um, Death Note oh. and Parasite, maybe. <gasps> Which I haven't watched yet. But no, I don't think it had. It's fairly lengthy endeavor. Uh, What's it called again? Claymore. 
<laughs> Everybody read that, by the way. Yeah, it is madhouse. It just looks like it would it would translate so well yeah. into a program. We're gonna have to give a glowing recommendation then on Resi Five as we plow through the game that yeah. I plowed through endlessly. Yeah, it's. I've got quite a lot to do on it still. Well, you may as well start it all with me on PS4 then with mm. the trophies. No, because then that doesn't get me the the long time. Trophy. No, but but. <laughs> I read uh, Undead Unlock 3. Yes. Where she threatens to rape him at the end. She yes. To <laughs> yeah, yeah I've already read that one, yeah. It's good, it's alright. It's, uh, it's growing on me. Yeah. Have you read the Death Note one shot? No. Oh, I it's so read good. Any of the other Death Notes. You've watched it though, haven't you? No. I thought you had. No, I watched one episode in Italian in Italy. <laughs> Oh, why are you not reading? Death? Why would I give you Death Note to read? I thought you'd read it. No, I don't know why I thought that. Oh yeah, next week we should both um, make a fursona. No. Why? <laughs> no, no, I won't do it. We'll do it one day. I, I don't want to do it. I'm going to ask you every week. If you don't do it, I'll make one for you. No, I don't consent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't consent. <laughs> I don't consent to any of this. Okay. Do you think in a thousand years historians will think Batman was real? Yes. Like as the, people said, it was dumb to say that. I was like, no. Like, why wouldn't they? In a thousand years, people might think Pokemon were real. Yeah, and they're all extinct because the planet will be barren. Well, anyway. when we say in a thousand years, I mean whichever civilization elsewhere in the galaxy finds the charred remains of this shithole planet. Exactly. <laughs> and then just goes, oh, oh, they used to worship a man who claimed he was a bat. Because <laughs> we're clearly going to destroy ourselves. Yeah. Well, we're not going to expand out to the universe we're idiots I'm just thinking though, we're mistakes at best <laughs> the, the relics that will last if there are some paper copies somewhere they're gone how is how, well, no, how is finding oh, those books I gave you the other week the, yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. if they are somehow Briefly preserved received by the way very welcome thank you very much uh, if they are found in uh, say put the timeline a bit longer 10,000 years mm. if they're somehow preserved if they put in a plastic bag or something whatever how is that going to be different to when Josiah, who, or whoever it was, found the book. Turned out to, to be the Bible. Nobody how found a book that turned out to be a Bible. How, that's stupid. But that's what I mean. How how is something we make up now not going to be extrapolated in the future and get confused? No, no, I agree because yeah. that's all that's something somebody made up in the past and yeah. it's been extrapolated, extrapolated out. So I think it's fairly to be fact. It's fairly commonly accepted now that Jesus Christ, at the very least, did, did exist as a person. There was a person by that name in that place in that time. Right, right. It is indeed commonly accepted. I still don't understand how they're reaching that conclusion. There are not enough historical records to prove that okay. that we trust. I think we've just kind of confirmed my argument, haven't we? Like, if we, if it's commonly accepted now that Jesus did, yeah, yeah, yeah. based on, yeah, 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 based on the evidence that exists, what at the same time, <laughs> exactly. There is no evidence. Put, put the same timeline. Batman will be considered yeah, but that's Jesus. the argument I want you to explain to me what the evidence that may exist for him to exist that's not the Bible uh, that a guy called Jesus Christ existed okay how do we know Henry VIII existed no that's not what I'm asking that's semantics no it's the same no no, no it's, it's not the same... I want you to tell me the yeah. evidence that's there to say that Jesus Christ existed uh, it's corroborating accounts what corroborating accounts I don't know I'm not a Bible basher well you can't just say corroborating accounts and then not provide the accounts that are corroborated okay how do you know that atoms exist I don't Okay, that's cool. Science denier. Don't get vaccinated. I love science. I, I definitely do get vaccinated. <laughs> Don't listen to this bald idiot who is now, look, look, he cannot explain himself. You can't say and now look. he's conferred from the point. The point is, you say it's yeah. commonly accepted, yeah. but on what grounds? I don't know. That's not the Bible. I didn't commonly accept it. It's commonly accepted. You're a dick. It's commonly, it's commonly <laughs> accepted in the sense that it doesn't matter for a star. No, but, but that's what I'm saying is they go, it's commonly accepted that Jesus Christ existed. How? How is that accepted? Or common knowledge? It's not. There's no, there's no evidence to support it at all. It's not like a dinosaur where we've dug up the bones and gone, oh wait, no, this is from a big thing. Yeah. I think the differentiation is between commonly accepted and common knowledge. Common knowledge, yeah. Common knowledge infers that it is true. Commonly accepted means it might not be true, but it's commonly accepted for whatever no, reason. So dumb. <laughs> well, to be fair, I mean, you have to be stupid to have an imaginary friend. <laughs> so you know, whatever. Well, you're not real though, so you can't really say that. Well, I am because I've heard myself on podcasts. No, you haven't. It's me doing the voice for all. It's not for all. I'm I know. a partner. This is terrifying. It could all be true. <laughs> this could be me in a coma. Could be. 
Because why would someone like you really exist? This podcast, <laughs> this podcast is this is the only way we, we reach you in your coma. Wake up. I wonder if anyone gets creeped out by that. <gasps> That's what I should have written on the floor under the carpet. Also, you shouldn't have said, I wonder if anybody would get freaked out by that. Because if you'd have just dropped mid-sentence, yeah. the, this is us trying to reach you in a coma, wake up, and then just carried on. Yeah. I should have written, you know said about us trying yeah, to yeah, pick us yeah. up the carpet? Oh, I could have put that. What you should have done is just done some bloody handprints and you dragged them yeah, to a particular scene. But that's already been done. All right. What, by you? Yeah. It's under this one. Mm, whatever. No, it's not. I'll do a little thing in the You're life. not inventive enough to do that kind of thing. No. You're just deliberately argumentative all the time. Yes. That's why we chose to do this, isn't it? No. Oh, <laughs> I want to spend time with my friend. <laughs> okay, well, the choice is, for next week, right. either make a fursona, right, or... Plan your school shooting. <laughs> it's one of those two. Which are we doing? <laughs> well, considering I'm a 30 year old man, yeah. <laughs> planning a school shooting is cringe on so many levels. That's the more cringe version option. No, 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 no. I just said one thing. I didn't. I didn't finish my. Thing. It was jumping <laughs> down my throat. But given the ultra cringe nature of trying to make a first owner, okay, I will happily tell you how I'm going to go Columbine. All right, cool. On some little kids. Okay. We'll do that next week then. No. <laughs> yeah. No, we won't. <laughs> yeah, we won't. <laughs> There's going to be a good argument for homeschooling as well. <laughs> I think the, the best... No, there is no good argument for homeschooling. Yeah, there is. Name one. Uh, you're not going to get stabbed. Okay. That's not an argument. You said good good reason, and you said name one. You go to the shop, you can get stabbed. Yeah. Well, so you can just be homed. It's not even schooled anymore, it's just homed. You never leave the house. <laughs> you get rickets. No, because you get home Break your legs. It's like home. misery. Tell you to a bed. Yeah. Snap off your ankles. Cool. Done. Well, well, home, home schooled you Cool, make. fuck you. If you had um, homeschooled kids, you would go to like every social group, though. Just not go to schools. I don't, I don't think they do. I think a lot of the homeschooled think... people turn to religious nut jobs. And then end up killing people. Well, there's too many people. It's commonly accepted that that's the case. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make the first good homeschooled kid, then. You are? Yeah. I'd homeschool in a heartbeat. I absolutely would. Because I don't trust schools. The kid's going to grow up to be an awkward fucking psycho then. <laughs> Excellent, they'll win. They'll win? Yeah, they life. They don't win. You can't say Patrick Bateman wasn't a winner. I don't even know who Patrick Bateman was. Psycho, American Psycho. I haven't seen that film. Have you not? No, the missus wants me to see it. Oh, he's a real cool guy, you'll like him. No, no, I know all about that film. <laughs> I just haven't seen it. Who are, so who are the most successful, successful serial killers, fiction or otherwise? Ted Bundy. It's successful in terms of just general life. What's it? Who's that doctor here? Shipley. Shipley. Yeah. Shipton. Yeah, he probably Martin, had a nice. Uh, Martin Shipton? No, Henry Shipton. Doctor. Doctor Shipton. Doctor Shipley. Har- Harold Shipton. Shipman. Sh- Harold Shipman. We got there in the end. <laughs> Harold Shipman. His persona was a ship. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he had. Choo choo! Wait, that's the train. <laughs> I'm sure, uh, I'm sure uh, he had a nice life, nice is. house. You are? I'm sure he had a nice life and nice house. No, he did, yeah. Like Daryl Shipman. I'm sure, um Have you ever worn that t-shirt I got you for Christmas? Yeah. It's on the radiator. Oh, no, it's been taken off the radiator, it so, it nice, so it didn't get painted. Yes, it does fit nice. Oh, thank you. How long to Comic Con now? You said six weeks the other day. Five weeks, six weeks. Yeah. Why did you say that? What? You said, I thought you'd say that. When you said, shall I... Because I... We were organising how we're going to get to Comic Con, and that's yeah. four people. Normally, I drive you because you don't want to drive to Birmingham, yeah. but because you're going with your partner, I'm going with mine. I assumed that instead of us all getting into my car when you already don't like being driven, you would want to drive you and your partner there. Yeah. Because I know that would be your preference. Yeah. Plus, yeah, that's fair. I was, I was in a different place in my mind. Oh. Like, I was like, oh, he's going to think I just don't want to fucking spend time with people. It's like, well, no. But no, who yes. does want to spend time with people? If we could go to Comic Con, like spending time with you. If we could go to Comic Con and there's no other people there, just the shopkeepers, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, Actually, no, it wouldn't because every time we go to a stand, they'd be looking at us all hopeful, like, "No, I don't want your shit." Be gross, wouldn't it? To be fair, the only reason I'm going to Comic Con this time is to look for more vintage games, yeah, like T-shirts, I think, yeah, and look at the Comic Village with the missus. Yeah, oh well, yeah, because they always get something for her there anyway. Are we going there early? How much are we for the tickets? Was it thirty? Uh, I can't remember. I need to buy parking. That's the reason I asked. It's because of parking. I need to buy the. Pass in advance because I don't want to dick around again on the day. Okay, yeah. I need to get uh, cases for Sonic 1 and 3. Cases? Yeah. On? Mega Drive. Oh, yeah. Because I've got, I've got the cartridges, but 
I, don't I, know I might get a GBSP backlit if they've got these more. Yeah, that'd be nice. I it seems like they have fewer each time we go because there was one. Like I saw them, and then there was loads when we first went, and then there were fewer the last time. Have we been twice? Dead Pan Robot, you pissed me off. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get back to me, and mm. you lost. You lost, you lost out. And you didn't even bring what I asked. <laughs> <laughs> I would have I bought it in a fucking heartbeat if you'd had it. You yeah. could charge me hundred and fifty quid and I'd slap the money in your hand. But you didn't. So do you know what? Finger your mum. <laughs> Wake oh, up, you slag. Oh wait, no, we need to do a sign off. Oh okay. This is the end of part two of episode one of Logical Fallacy. Yeah, we got off to a good start by the way by splitting the first episode into two parts. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> expect further greatness. But I did nail a sign off. You did, you said it properly. Say it again? No. Say it again. No. What's the podcast called? Logical Fallacy. Again? Logical Fallacy. Again? Logically, whatever you said the yeah. first time. No, you trailed off after logically. It's Logical Fallacy. Yes. I don't understand why that's hard to say. I know. But you found it hard to say. No, I didn't. Well, not this time. I just, remember, last time. I just remember you doing it wrong the very first time. Oh. Oh, he's been mocking me the whole time. <laughs> You're an arse. I thought you were mocking yourself for like an hour now. <laughs> of course not. That is, that is dirty and it makes me laugh. <laughs> That's incredible.